In this video I want to show you a useful feature with our unique multi-market trading tool, uh, BetAngel Guardian, um, and it uses Excel to do this. So on the conventional BetAngel screen you can see the Excel tab here. Now this is designed for linking to one market and BetAngel can switch between markets throughout the day for you so you can create a useful Excel trading tool stroke spreadsheet stroke whatever you want to create. Um, via this tab here. But if you go into Guardian, which you can access from clicking here, um, Guardian also has an Excel tab here. You'll arrive at Guardian at this area, which is allowing you to select multiple markets, but you can see here that we've got an Excel function in here. And this Excel integration is different from the one that you see on the main BetAngel tab. And I'll, I'll show you why now. I'm going to open a, a workbook, which I've created earlier. and um, what I'm going to do is populate this workbook. So what I need to do is bring some markets in. So what I'm going to do here is look at the football markets. So I'll select soccer and we'll look at the fixtures on the 7th of December. Uh, we'll select all the match odds markets and then I'll add those to Guardian. So you can see all of the markets uh, coming in from here. I've sorted them by volume so we can get rid of the the poorer matches within here. So if I mark those, just delete those away we go. So we've selected all the Champions League matches on Tuesday night. So what I'm going to do now, um, you can see here we've called this spreadsheet multiple greening. Um, I'm going to link these matches to that spreadsheet. So if I go into there you can see I've got an overview workbook on the spreadsheet but I've also got BetAngel 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven. You can see you can basically link multiple workbooks um, into the spreadsheet. We've named them BetAngel on the default template. You can call them whatever you like. It's entirely up to you what you want to do. So I've linked into those spreadsheets. I'm going to connect the spreadsheets and then we'll have a look and see uh, what we've done in, over here. So this is the spreadsheet. This is the main part of the screen. And if I go from one spreadsheet to the next, you can see that it's linked each of these individual matches into the spreadsheet. So you can see here we start with Barcelona, then Man United, Werder Bremen, uh, Copenhagen, uh, Twente, uh, Bursa Spor, uh, Benfica and Lyon. So we've linked all of those matches in to that one spreadsheet. Incidentally I should point out on here that um, we've got each of these, we've got uh, Guardian cycling around the markets every 200 milliseconds. You can change that speed. We've got it cycling on the faster speed possible, which I'll show you why in a second. So we've linked all those into there, and from that we've created a top-level spreadsheet. So how do we create this top-level spreadsheet? Well, if I actually go down here, you can see this cell reference, B6, refers to BetAngel B1. So if I skip over to the BetAngel spreadsheet, and I'm afraid you can't see the descriptions because they're off the bottom of the screen, but You'll have tabs running along the bottom of the screen and you'll name those tabs according to what you want to do. So what's in cell B1? Cell B1 is the name of the match. So you can see we've got all of these lined up here so we know which match we're dealing in. You can also see over here we've got BetAngel D10. So if you go over and look at cell D10, you can see that what that refers to is the green up PL. In other words, if we close a trade on this particular market, what will be our net profit or loss? So you can see that's zero, and it's zero across here. So what we've actually created here is a spreadsheet that will look and monitor all of those markets all at once and tell us what our net position is on any one of those markets. So say we placed a bet or a traded position in Man United v Valencia, then if we were in profit on that but at a loss on the others then of course we'd average out to a net profit or loss overall and it sometimes makes sense not to place one bet on one particular match but to place them across multiple matches because then you average out um, your total position so where something goes wrong in one match it would go very right in another and they'll all average out and merge nicely into one to generate a, a net position overall on all of the matches and I love doing this because you can take slightly more speculative positions and if one of them fails you get served a get out of jail card by something else. So the idea of this spreadsheet is to monitor not our position in one market but the position across all of them. So all I've done is linked to each individual spreadsheet and we've got the name from there but then I'm linking 
the potential profit or loss on any position that we've got in each of those markets and then I'm subtotaling all of those at the bottom. Now the sky's the limit when you start messing around with Excel so you can do uh, a significant amount more and if you want uh, to add in other functions, very easy to do so. So the function I've added in here is green all question mark. You can see here I've just put that as a prompt to remind me of exactly what I want to do. And the situation that we've got here is if I put um, any character within here, then what that will instruct Bet Angel to do is to green out or red out on all of those matches at one go. So so we open loads of positions in these markets. We're up a hundred pound or so, and I think okay, I'm going to have that. And it's 15 minutes into the match. I just press a button and it will green up all of those. So how have I achieved that? Well it's actually really really simple. So that cell reference that I've referred to there if we look at the top of the screen is F17. So if we go to the first Betangel screen and go to the global command over here what you can actually see is that we've entered in if on the overview screen cell F17 does not equal nothing then issue a green all command. Now you can see it's thrown up an error here because we've got no net positions in the market um, and as a consequence it, it can't do anything at this particular stage in time. Um, so if you wanted to repeatedly do this you'd have to write some iteration to clear the global status cell. Um, but if we open positions before the match started or during the match and we wanted a total markets net profit we would now have that displayed on the market and I could press any button and I've just put Y for yes in here at the moment and that would issue the green up all command in each individual market so if you watch what happens there's nothing in there at the moment so the global command says nothing if I put a yes to indicate I want to green up in the market you can see it says green all there and in the next one green all you can see over here um, green all green all green all green all green all green all so despite having how many matches have we got here two four six eight matches one command on this overview spreadsheet can issue a command to green up on all those markets. Not only that, but we can see our net position across all markets at any one point in time. So you can see here with a bit of imagination um, you can put into play some more interesting uh, strategies and overviews and ways of working with the market. So, you know, bear in mind that not only do you have the Excel linking but you've also got Guardian and you've got the Guardian Excel linking which means that you can open up multiple markets and uh, trade all of those at the same time and if I wanted to add in extra markets below it here then I can extend the spreadsheet to go further out from there and of course the same thing could be done on horse racing, greyhounds, or any sport you like. The only reason I'm showing you this on football is because football matches all go off at the same time so it's quite difficult to control and flick backwards and forwards between matches whereas obviously if you've got a spreadsheet um, running then you can get a global overview on everything that's going on and you can zip backwards in and out of markets to do your individual trades but the spreadsheet will keep a running total on what's going on across all markets um, at the same time and introducing a really simple command such as green all you can see I've copied this across to each individual screen if I move across then you can control all of those markets in one go as well so improves your productivity no end and allows you to do more interesting and exciting things um, so that is the Excel and Guardian functionality.